welcome back to another episode of Octopath Traveler 2. Now, last episode, uh, well, actually, before we get on into this episode, I want to say thank you to Square Enix for providing me with my copy of this game. And last episode, we finish off, uh, finished off the last of the uh, dual stories. And so now we're on our way over to Southern Cropdale Tail because apparently there's extra stories here. So not quite sure what that means. I'm assuming this is going to be the last, uh, last little bit. May I have this dance? My turn. I'm out. It looks like we're going this way. <laughs> Get out of my way. You're not worth the effort. Uh, looks like this. The journey for the dawn draws near. If you proceed, the actions you can take will be limited for a while. Any tales you wish to experience are best completed before the journey for the dawn, but the choice is yours. You can still save your progress, but saving in a different slot is recommended. Well, I'm used to that. Hmm, the fire won't catch. Huh. Give it another go, Agnia. Where's everyone else? Brings us one step closer to success, eh? Right. We just have to keep trying. Oh. We've brought firewood, you two. Thank you so much, Casty. Yeah, thank you, Casty. Be careful. A fire's not worth getting wounded over. What? If it's flames you want, I can do it. <laughs> not so fast, partner. How else are we gonna work up a sweat? Uh, I'd say let Oswald do it. I'm being so inefficient. I'm all for Oswald doing this. We're back. We didn't find any beasts lurking about. Oh, that's good. But we did find this water. <sighs> Goodness, physical labor has never really agreed <laughs> with me. <laughs> There's nothing like a good meal after a hard day's work, Timonos. Speaking of so am I going to have to use all eight characters? Ooh, chat and... Throw name. Not a feast without a main course. That's a lot of meat. A feast? This is enough meat for a butcher shop. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think hunting would be so much fun. <laughs> You've got the stuff that great hunters are made of, Throne. I could s I'd say it makes no. sense. Oh, are you retiring from the... Well, uh, let me fix my. There we go. Cleaning business, thrown eh? No. Quiet detective. <laughs> well then, I believe that's most everything. All that remains is. I'm assuming the fire is not going yet. Everyone's counting on us to light up their evening. It's time to get serious, Particio. I still say let him do it. Come on, fire. You can do it. We'll show this pile of sticks who's boss. Hey. There we go. They did it! Yay! This will be a night to remember. I think you might be right. Now we feast! Yay!
I feel like Uchet's gonna eat most of that food. This is nice. Truth be told, this isn't where I imagined my journey would take me. <laughs> I know what you mean. I thought you'd end up in jail. As do I. <laughs> That's what makes journeys worth taking. You never know where you'll end up. I wonder if everyone else can understand Mahina. It... Oh, what's wrong? Are you cold? <laughs> Doubtless someone in Ku is gossiping about you at this very moment. <laughs> oh, he I is the me, new so lord. My friends back home. What about him? I learned much in our travels, and I hope I can use it to help my friends and nation. I nope. know you, Ohikari, and everyone's lives will be brighter for it. Thank you. Even after this journey ends, I'm going to keep on dancing around the world until I can dance no more. My you say that alone, with Partitio and Rock backing us, we can hop on a steam locomotive and bring smiles to every corner of the world. That sounds amazing. Hmm. You know, everyone had the darkness in their story. The important part, dancing. But uh, Partitio really didn't. I could extend a helping hand to places I've never even dreamt of. Will you keep on with Heirs Apothecaries, Casti? I want to resume my search for like-minded allies. I don't think uh, Agnia did either, now that I think about it. That's a dream I can get behind. Yeah, me too. Haha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. There's one problem with this plan of yours. If you consider how many people there are in this world, then... There's no room for logic in the realm of dreams, Professor. Do we know that? What'll you do, Oswald? Burn everything down! I have some unfinished business to conclude. There are many answers that have yet to be found. Is that so? It's writ plain on your face. Hmm. You're worried about your daughter. There's one answer found. <laughs> and what of you, Tamanos? Have you found yours? Almost. It's like a piece of meat stuck in between my teeth. Ugh, I know what you mean. I hate that. So something That is an awful words? feeling. Hmm. Precisely. So, your uh. days as a detective aren't over yet, then. Well, I'm here if you need an assistant. Assuming you can afford me, that is. <laughs> My goodness. You're awfully greedy for an assistant. Even hey, if I said yes, get that I'm pay. Sure you have your own path in mind. I do. I want to go somewhere far away. Where is that? To a place that isn't on any map. A place no one knows about. So you want to go to outer space? A place none have laid eyes upon. You all have such big hopes and dreams. I just want to feast every day. To keep the people of Totohaha safe, of course. Uh, should I be aiming higher? Ah, seems like you've got some meat stuck in your teeth. <laughs> Don't worry, Ochet. 
That's a fine dream. <laughs> I suppose it is. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Look, a shooting star. Wait, make a wish. Whoever makes a wish first gets it. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. Hmm. Death and pain. What's this? That looked like warrior and dancer. Scholar and merchant. Oh wait, maybe the first one. I can't tell what those two are. That's definitely Thief. And the other one was probably Cleric. Huh. This doesn't look good. Who wished for death and destruction? Which of you did it? Ah oh, man, one of them's definitely got to be a snorer. Just what was that? I had an odd dream. There was a dark place somewhere completely unfamiliar. And a dark fire was blazing. I... I saw the same thing. Well then, that's not good. Uh, wait, wait. Are you yanking my chain? I saw it too. We all had the same dream. Could it be a coincidence? You're all the protagonists. Of course it's not. I very much doubt that. Hmm. What are the probabilities? I feel as if I've seen that place somewhere before. Oh, I slept like a baby full of milk, though. Huh. Is it still not? It's not night, it's shadow. Dawn should be upon us soon. Hmm. We should patrol the area. I can barely see a thing. Hmm. Huh? The stars, they're all gone. The sky is pitch black. That sounds normal. That is a miss. This is no natural nightfall. Oh, Chet. <sighs> I felt this. It's just like before. <gasps> On your guard, everyone. Something's coming, and it isn't friendly. How do you know? It's here. Ready when you are. My turn. Um. What to do? Time to shine. Um. Uh. There. Let's go. Oh, all 
Arms Master. No. Well, that's not good. Ow! What to do? Let's do this. Open deck. Let's go. Did they? Why are my weapons like this? about the shadow of the what was that <sighs> Casty and I have seen beasts like that before at the time we had no idea what they were their nature I've seen them too Hmm. Agora resembles the one true magic wielded by Harvey. He called it the Shadow. Amanos' turn? The Shadow? <sighs> what is it? I cannot say for certain. Not now, in any case. It's related to Dark Cast. Mysterious monsters. Just what we need. We know next to nothing of this phenomenon, not even the extent of its reach. Does this shroud cover only this forest, or is it much larger? Probably the whole world. Nothing for it but to check for ourselves. On that, I agree. Well, we need to do something. <sighs> Unfortunately, we lack the information to know just what that something is. I've caught a foul scent. Oh, let's go to it. Let's stick together for a while longer. The food will spoil if we stand around like a bunch of frightened deer. What? Eternal night has descended upon the world. The travelers decided to set out on a final journey to find the cause. Your destination will not be shown on the radar. Search for your... Oh, gross. Okay, so you can... change at any time. We've been wait we've been waiting a while and the sun still hasn't ri ain't risen. What in the world's going on? I don't know, but it's nothing good, that's for sure. If those strange monsters earlier were a product of this darkness, then we must figure out the cause of this lo long night and soon. I couldn't agree more. First, we search for clues. Now you're talking, so where do we start? Come on now, you must have some idea, right? Why don't we look for places like this one? What do you mean? I mean other areas surrounded in the shadow. There are more? I can't say for sure, but it's only the he heading we have. It's the only heading we have. A fair point. Standing still would get us nowhere. Let's start by searching for other places blanketed by darkness. 
All right, looks like it's time to hit the dusty trail once again. Oh God, what? I'm assuming this area. Okay. This looks like a place to go. The it's quiet. Too quiet. But this smell, it's the scent of humans. They're frightened. Hiding. Okay, well that's obvious. Someone's coming. Who's coming? Mint. Hey, Mint. Is that you, Temenos? Out for a stroll in a place like this? Something's up with Min. You did have the habit of sticking your nose in places it doesn't belong. A friend of yours, Temenos? In a manner of speaking, but something's odd. Hmm. What's up with Mint? <laughs> you failed to see what was in front of you. The shadow is ever by thy side. <laughs> Just what are you? This is an inquisition. Refuse to answer and... Attempting to conquer others with threats of violence will always fail. Those who are subdued by strength cannot help but rebel. To conquer so Mint's been evil this whole time? Conquer them. You must subjugate their hearts and minds. Hearken to the shadows in their hearts. What are you talking about? People are desperate for a place to belong. Give it to them, and they cannot bear to live anywhere else. Hmm. And then, their hearts and minds are yours. Their hearts and minds? Humans are foolish by their very nature. Yeah, that's true. Pass, and yet they remain the same. Bold words for someone so young. <laughs> Surrender yourself not unto silent dusk, for the light shall fade. Again with that? Night shall fall. So you've been evil this whole time. The teachings of the Moonshade Order. No, it can't be. Since you are so dogged in your search for the truth, allow me to help you. My true name is Arcanet. What? And I am the leader of the Moonshade Order. The same order that slaughtered the call. Then why did Caldina join it? That's impossible. The massacre of the call was decades ago, and the Moonshade Order's origins are older still. It's not impossible. 
There are old souls out there that hide behind youthful faces. Thanks to Caldina's efforts, the Book of Night is now in my possession. <laughs> that girl was so eager to be a puppet. She didn't realize the strings were held by her sworn enemy. Ah. The Pontiff knew who you were. He was going to tell me, but his life was cut short. I had hoped you would be more stricken. How dull. Hmm. Such has ever been your nature. Your face always appears. Now that explains why they killed, uh, him. But I suppose it matters not. This world's end draws nigh. That staff. Once. How do you know all that staff? Night was invited into the world. But a loathsome few drove it away. Those events will not repeat themselves again. I have a feeling the loathsome few are going to be driving it back. You stole the futures of untold innocence. Did I? Then you should thank me. This world is cruel. Monstrous. With not a single mote of joy to be found amongst the misery. Don't you see? Roy, Pontiff Yorg. Hmm. Yes, and even Crick. They knew. They knew the beauty of a dawn that would never come. What? Quiet. I won't allow. I forget who is Roy. With such blasphemy. You will answer for your sins, Arcanet. Uh, seriously, I don't remember Roy. I'll ensure the world they hoped for comes to pass. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> Foot. At last, Temenos's mask falls off. What? I'm the hunter. You're the prey. Time to shine. Okay, dancers. Gills. Let's try sweeping gill. Okay, not wind. Merchant skills. Fire. Not fire. Cleric. Holy light. Not light. Which is honestly surprising to me. Okay, spear and axe. Oh man. Sacred flame. Open book. Let's go. Um, uh, beast lore. Provoke. See. Go on then. Well, that works. Uh, it's either ice or lightning. Let's go with ice. Oh, um. in the reach of a single ally's items. Um, why don't we do this? Okay, ice is one of her weaknesses. Oh wait, it has to be both.
grant a single ally two BP. Okay. Lore. Provoke! Um... Yep, I was right. It had to be both. Um, can I... get rid of confusion? Yes. Hang in there. I don't know what that does. Use a plum basket. Here, I owe you one. Here I go. Um, cast the attack. Cleaning time. Heavy footed, aren't you? Uh, let's see, does this get two? No. Give up. Ow, ow. Ready? Um, okay, we can't. Let's do this. And then that. Nice work, Ochet. Um, Dancer Peacock Struck Struck. Um, damn. Oh, Lions Dance. Master Lionheart Axe. Lionheart Axe. Oh, holy shit! Ready? And that did. What the fuck? Armor or. Okay, you know what? Nice. Nice. Uh. The song of hope. 
There we go. You know what? We'll just do this. Oh dear. Time to shine. All right. Get back out here. Here I go. Leaking power. I have a telephone they can do. Let's see. Here we go. This now. Don't open. should have went with light now that I think about it. Here we go. Um. Beast lore, provoke. Go on, then. Hmm. Song of hope. There we go. What to do? What to do? Um, arrow of fortune. Thought I'd break it with that. Now then, what one of the things? The song of hope. Okay, ready. Uh, let's see. Luminescence. Sacred flame. My prey awaits. Goodbye. Hold it together. I've got just the cure. Oh. Casty. Uh, I, you know what? I need to use this. Let's break. Damn. I really thought that was gonna... There we go. Impressive. Cleric. Heal wounds. Time to shine. Items. Energizing pomegranate. Here you. Be floor. Provoke. I can't. You know what? Nah, hunter skill. Not hunters. No, almost screwed that up. Holy shit, you're still alive? Here I go. Um. Fuck. Hmm. 
poison slap. Boom. Oh dear. Cleaning time. Energizing pomegranate, you. Time to shine. Uh. Wow, they didn't kill either, huh? My turn. I expect great back. Cleaning time. Luminescence. Sacred flame. Open book. Here I go. Get that off. All right. I can do whatever I set my mind to. The song of hope. Do that. Ah. Oh. oh fuck. Um. Here, you're feeling all better. Please don't. Ow. Watch me. Uh, revive. I will never fall to the likes of you. Uh, heal. Snap help. I am unwell. My friend. <laughs> It's my turn now. Shit. Um. Here you go. You have healing hands. Ow. 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 Well. Ready. Heal. I appreciate it, Drone. I don't care about the poison. This is bad. Um. This is what it means to be a star. Together now. Let's do this. Healing uh, Great Bunch. Okay. My turn. Damn it. Um. You know what? You. I appreciate it, Throne. No mercy. Only fuck. Off. I need a helping hand. My journey will not end here. Whew. And so we arrive at this moment. Are you truly so desperate to see the dawn? I see now that the Pontiff was not the true threat. It was you, Temenos. Hmm. You, a dagger sharpened to a razor's edge. Who's Claude? Masterwork. Oh wait, that was her father, wasn't it? <laughs> I can see it. The collar around that thin neck of yours. A collar? You will never be free. <laughs> he 
Even if I fall here, nothing will end. Mm. And there, always near. Soon, night shall fall. Farewell, Mint. Your days of meddling are over. Interesting. Soon night shall fall. Oof. From the looks of it, it already has. If this isn't night, then... Well, it feels like formation. We're gonna want terminals. Can I sleep at an inn? That's what I'm curious about. Um, there is a bar here. There's an inn. Okay, I can. Ooh, that fight took a bit. So, Temenos and Throne feel like they're the main ones for this chapter. So I'm going to switch out Casty, who's my secondary healer anyways, for a second Cleric. And we're going to save over this slot. Flame Church Pilgrim's Way. Let's not run. <laughs> Let's play. My turn. Yep. Yeah. Time to clean up the filth. What in the world? I'm gonna actually run now because I don't have the patience to walk. What's this? Ansi's journal. Did you write this? Odiner asked. I immediately ripped the book out of his grasp and he shrank back a bit, a little, surprised at my strength. I couldn't believe that he of all people had gotten his hands on my hidden script. Odner had been acting from a young age and was already doing quite well for himself. I too had longed for the stage since I was a child, but ended up working at my parents' candle shop instead. Even so, I hadn't been able to give up on writing, and it became my secret pastime. I hadn't shown my scripts to anyone, though, afraid that their responses would confirm just how talentless I was. I screwed my eyes shut in embarrassment, preparing myself for his ridicule of my silly script, but... Would you mind if I perform this, he asked? I let out a strange gasp, cut, completely cut off, caught off guard. It'd be a shame not to. Why don't we show it off at the next Festival of Grace? Though taken aback by the proposal, I was overjoyed to know that someone appreciated my writing. I nodded in agreement and decided to make it a performance to remember. Despite it being Odiner's idea, I realized that I was even more excited than he was. I even ban began composing musical scores for the show. I love you, Mary. Those words caught my, caused my heart to race and my hands on the harp to stop. What's wrong? Odiner asked as he peered into my face with concern. I realized that he no longer looked like that brat who had tormented me with insects in our youth. Still, I knew that the words he spoke were not his own. I had been the one to write them, after all. Half a month before the Festival of Grace, his performance was all but perfect. I couldn't help but wonder when he found the time to practice after his normal work was through. I, on the other hand, was struggling to think of a fitting ending to the script and worked late into the night. Unable to ignore my struggles, Odner pulled me away from my desk and whisked me away into the town late at night. The gods are all ours right now, he told me after, as we snuck into the empty church. Not long after, I was struck by inspiration, perhaps by the grace of the sacred flame. Odner watched quietly as my word upon, as word upon word flowed from the tip of my pen. 
By the time I was finished, dawn was breaking. As Odner read my script, his face was more serious than ever, and my heart pounded in my chest, though not out of nervousness. Once he finished, he smiled softly. Will you marry me? He asked, and I let out another strange gasp. Had I written that, written that line? No. This time, the words, those words were Odner's own. His proposals always had a way of bringing me unrivaled joy. My heart warmed at the sight of his smile and the thought of performing the script we had written together. I wish that happiness would last us a lifetime. Alas, I watched as the clerics carried his casket and sobs filled the air around me. I laid him to rest with our script and his beloved yellow flowers. No, I thought to myself, this is, wasn't the ending I had envisioned. The day after finishing the script, I woke up to find my love cold beside me. According to the apothecary, Odner's heart had failed him. I wondered if work was to blame. Why hadn't I noticed? I killed him. I pushed him too hard. It was all my fault. All my fault. Unable to bear the guilt, I pushed his death from my mind and carried on as usual. But whenever I remembered my beloved, I clenched my jaw so hard I thought my teeth would break. One day I found myself in front of the church. A church, the same place Odner and I swore our love to each other, and a single cleric came to speak with me. Sadness is something that builds up inside us. Holding it all in will do nothing but destroy you, she told me. Please, let it out. You don't need to endure it any longer. Moved by her warmth, I spoke of everything that I had buried deep inside me. She listened to every word and, at the end, embraced me gently. All of my guilt and sadness were washed away by her kindness. Then, one day, my feelings for Odner disappeared, and all that was left was her. One day, I saw her with another woman and feared that she would leave me. Knowing I had to secure my place in her word, world, I told her that I would do whatever she asked of me. She smiled gently in response and said, I want you to find the blue flames, wherever they may be in this world. I left on my journey soon thereafter. My parents cried and tried to stop me, but I pushed them away. Unfortunately, I barely knew the area outside of my own home let alone the whole world. Not, longer, not long after, I met with a traveling troupe. They claimed to be bringing smiles to every corner of the realm, so I joined them and the search began. That's how I found it, the blue flame she was looking for. It was on an isle at the edge of the world. I could only imagine how pleased she'd be. I was sure she would let me stay at her side. Oh, how I adore Sister Mint. I love you, Tansy, she said. Her warm voice and words reverberated in my head. She then handed me an old tome called The Book of Night and recommended that I read it. So I did right then and there. It was a story of a people who did not long to see the dawn. I'd never read such an incredible tale before. As I looked up from its pages, she smiled at me. I realized that there was no greater happiness to be had than reading a wonderful book and seeing Sister Mint smile. In my mind, no brighter dawn awaited. Yes, I have no need for the dawn. It can end here and now. Damn. Statue of Aber, Prince of Thieves. There are words carved into the base. O oh, inheritors of our will, let the mirror shine and kindle a fire in your heart to chase away the darkness. Statue of Elfric the Flamebringer. There are words carved into the base. O oh, inheritors of our will, let the mirror shine and kindle a fire in you. So wait, is there... Oh. Gee, I wonder. Brightly shining mirror. The mirror reflects the memories of the sacred flame. Oh. Up. Oh. Wake up, Tansy. Night has come. Tansy? Wake up, Tansy. Night has come. Uh, Sister Mint? Oh, I fell asleep without realizing it. You were sleeping standing up? <laughs> Do not worry. You must have been quite tired. You traveled far to see my wish granted. Sister Mint? I mean, goddess. I would do anything if it brought me closer to you. <laughs> Your devotion is moving. 
You have gone Aww. beyond my every expectation. And now she's dead. And must be rewarded. I mean, are you gonna kill her? Rewarded? I love you, Tansy. Aww. Huh? It's so dark. Where, where am I? What? My body? Well, that's fucked up. Pathetic child, oblivious until the very end. But I'm glad I murdered you even more. Is it not? It's not as if you desired to see the dawn. <laughs> the sacred flames have been snuffed out. Surrender yourself not unto silent dusk. For the light shall fade. And soon the world shall know the joy of a dawn that never comes. Well, you're dead now. All who stand in my way shall be cast aside. I shall root out the travelers and bury that wretched mirror beneath the earth. Well, I have the mirror. Never enkindle the flames again. So did I come to the right one first? First sacred flame burns anew. So this is the night. Could this be? Could this darkness she spoke of be Vide? Vide? Legends portray him as a god of fear and destruction, which means that the dawn must be. I spoke with the children of this village not long ago. It seems there's going to be a concert tomorrow. Dulcinea is coming to entertain everyone with her dancing. Those children were waiting for the dawn with stars in their eyes. It was a beautiful sight like gemstones glittering in the dark. They see nothing but hope. Indeed. That's why I made a promise to them. A promise that I would steal back the dawn. You truly are Aber come again. Is that meant to be a compliment? But of course. Now then, shall we get to work, Aber? Hmph, there certainly is a lot to work to be done. More than I've ever done before. Okay, well. No matter what happens, the Sacred Guard will protect the church. Oh. Mm. Thanks. Thanks. Of course you may have it. This is but another form of Sacred Flame's guidance. <laughs> Don't mind me! Okay, looks like there's one here. Oh, it's level change. Gee. Okay. I'm assuming Crack Ridge. We'll go to Coup. Uh, let's start with the Hunter area. Oh, 
who was it? Hunter and formation. It was Ochet and Casty, right? Oh, we're actually at an hour. Perfect timing. Hopefully, uh, um, let me st end this episode by saying thank you all for watching. Uh, I want to say thank you to Square Enix for providing me with my copy of this game. And as always, Eskonites, if you've enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, Eskonites, share the love. Goodbye.